In this lecture, we will study conjugate symmetric signals. There are two things in conjugate symmetric signals. First one is conjugate. It stands for complex conjugate. And second one is symmetric. A signal is said to be symmetric if it remains same after performing the time reversal. We already know how to perform the time reversal or folding. So we will understand what do we mean by complex conjugate. We will understand what do we mean by complex conjugate let's take one imaginary number 3 plus 4i is the imaginary number and the complex conjugate is equal to 3 minus 4i 3 is the real part 4i is the imaginary part and in order to obtain the complex conjugate you only have to change the sign of imaginary part here the sign is positive so we have changed it to negative so the complex conjugate is 3 minus 4i. I hope you now understand what do we mean by complex conjugate. If the imaginary part is equal to 0, for example 2 minus 0i, then the complex conjugate 2 plus 0i is same as the complex number because minus 0i is not different from plus 0i. Let's say the original signal is equal to xt the original signal is xt after this we will perform the time reversal so we have x minus t this is the signal after performing the time reversal and once we have the time reverse signal we will obtain the complex conjugate the complex conjugate is represented by asterisk and the complex conjugate of x minus t is x asterisk minus t. This is the complex conjugate of x minus t. In case of conjugate symmetric signals, the original signal xt is same as the complex conjugate of x minus t. The original signal xt is same as x asterisk minus t. This is the condition this is the condition of conjugate symmetric signals the real part of signal xt the real part of signal xt is at and the imaginary part of signal xt is equal to j bt therefore therefore xt is equal to at plus j bt and if we find out x minus t we have a minus t plus j b minus t after this we will obtain the complex conjugate of x minus t a asterisk minus t it is equal to a minus t the real part will remain same but we have to change the sign of imaginary part so we have minus j b minus t let's say this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 and from this condition xt is equal to x asterisk minus t this means the real part of xt the real part of xt is same as the real part of x asterisk minus t in the same way the imaginary part of xt is same as the imaginary part of x asterisk minus t the real part of xt is a t and the real part of x asterisk minus t is a minus t and they are same so we have a t equal to a minus t in the same way b t the imaginary part of xt is equal to minus b minus t the imaginary part of x asterisk minus t and from the properties of even and odd signals, AT is an even signal, whereas BT is an odd signal. AT is even because AT is equal to A minus T. After performing the time reversal, we have the same signal. Whereas BT is an odd signal because after performing the time reversal, we have the negative of the original signal. So the real part, the real part is even in case of conjugate symmetric signals whereas the imaginary part is odd this point is very important we will solve the numerical problems 
using this point the real part is even and the imaginary part is odd in case of conjugate symmetric signals let's solve one problem in this problem signal xt is equal to t square is equal to t square plus j sine t and we already know t square is even and sine t sine t is odd so the condition is satisfied the real part is even and the imaginary part is odd so signal xt is conjugate symmetric signal let's solve another problem in this problem signal xt is equal to sine t sine t plus j t cube sine t sine t is odd signal t cube is also an odd signal so the real part is odd as well as the imaginary part is odd so this signal is not conjugate symmetric this signal is not conjugate symmetric so this is all you need to know about the conjugate symmetric signals in the next lecture i will explain the conjugate anti symmetric signals